But anyways, for me as a participant, one of the things that I've uh, thought I, and I continue to think is the, how oddly lonely uh, MOOCs as a space are. Because even though <clears throat> it's all these you know tens of thousands of people or thousands of people, it really just it, it just doesn't seem like there's a there there in terms of the people around uh, around you. Um, I gave a talk at the C's and one of the um, to, to quote myself, if you will, little lines I had there was, you know, if um, if the lecture hall um, is in Paul Ferrari's way of thinking of education, the sort of primary example of the banking model of education, all that's wrong with education. Um, the MOOC seems to be sort of like the online shopping version of higher education because not only is it something that you're doing, uh, you're doing it alone, and you know at your own sort of pace and and not really even needing to make connections with other people. And so to me, the the sort of discussions in MOOCs are so. Um, uh, it's like drinking out of a fire hose kind of conversation. It's not even really conversation. It's impossible to actually make connections and things like that with, you can't make a connection with 10,000 people. You know, I mean, it's just, it just doesn't work that way. Other people have found different kinds of experiences. Although what's interesting to me about most of the people who have found more positive experiences in MOOC communities is uh, people who are building communities outside of the MOOC structure themselves. Mm. So the people who reflect the most favorably about, um, the kind of community building aspect of MOOCs are talking about things like the Facebook groups that arise from MOOCs, the Twitter streams that arise from MOOCs and, and things like that. So.